Finally, I just want to touch on a, a big fight at the weekend alongside your fight, uh, that being Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders. You've been in the ring with Canelo, as has Callum, your brother. Just first of all, from fighting Canelo, what does Canelo do so well? Just everything is all around abilities. What surprised me, I said to everybody, people said to me, was he, was he a beast? Was he powerful? No, he was solid. He was like many you know, solid fights. He didn't me and think, wow. But he's just natural ability, his, his twitches, his feints. He's a very, very good fighter. And, um, you know, I, I wish put Billy Joe all the best. Obviously, I'm rooting for Billy Joe. But I can't sit here and say, I think he wins. Because, I, you know, I don't. It's, that's how good I rate Canelo. Mm. It's not Billy Joe. I feel Billy Joe's a world-class fighter. I feel many world-class fighters have lost to Canelo. I just feel he, Canelo is that good. And, um, again, I, I wish Billy Joe all the best. And, and I hope he does the job. But I can't see it. I just think Canelo's that little bit better at all rounds. And no disrespect to Billy Joe, I can't see nobody beating him unless he goes to 175. Some of the boxing public have alluded to Billy might needing to pull off what Sonny Edwards did last weekend against Mitalani to beat uh, Canelo. Do you think that's sort of a game plan that Billy should look to implement to try and beat Canelo? Canelo's not 38 or 40 years of age, or well, Canelo's younger than Billy, I think. Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think Billy Joe has to try and frustrate Canelo, you know, make Canelo miss a lot, box him, but not like Sonny Edwards said, you know, Sonny Edwards, the, the, um, that Maruti or whatever his name was, couldn't get near Sonny. Um, Sonny's too sharp, too young, too fresh, too good. Uh, I know he was a very good fighter back in the day, but you know, he, uh, Sonny made him look his age, whereas Canelo's young and, and I just think Canelo's getting better and better. I said about two years ago, thought he looked a little bit on the slide, injury-wise. Oh my God, was I wrong? He seems to be getting better. He seems to be getting more dedicated to the sport. And, you, know, you can only take your hat off to people like that. He's got multi, multi, multi millions in a bank. And he's still right back in the gym, you know, before Carl in December, Yield in February, Billy Joe, May. I can only commend people like that. And, um, as much as I hate the fuck, because he's beating me and my brother. He's, uh, you've, got to, you've got to take your hat off to people like that. He's a, he's a special fighter, and that's why that's why I just can't go against him, obviously. I'd love I'd love to pick Billy Joe. Obviously, I, I, I know Billy Joe. He's, you know, he's a friend, as in, I've known him a long time through the amateurs. But I, I can't sit here and be... Be false and be fake to your fancy Billy John. I fancy Canelo, sorry. Billy's had a full camp, but he hasn't been happy with Eddie in the sense that he feels. Yeah, Eddie's he looks in very good shape. Also, he looked, he looked probably, you know, he's rightly so. He's going to need the best performance of his whole career. Yeah. But uh, he's had a good camp, and you know, I presume that the, the man, the man he is, and the man that I know he is, that he'll have no excuses, win, lose, or draw. He, he, you know, you only have to look at his body shape. He's in very good shape. He's had a good camp, and I've been winding people up saying he's, you know, 16 stone or something about four weeks ago. But, you know, he's at the bollocks. That's just Billy Joe for you. He's, he, he seems in very good shape, and he seems in a very good place. So, you know, it'd be, it'd be interesting, obviously. He, he's got a style that can trouble anyone. I could be way wrong. You know, I hope I am. But, again, I can't sit here and tell you something that I don't fully believe. He's, uh, Billy's not been happy with Eddie in the sense that he feels Eddie's been favouring Canelo. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think Eddie has been? Yeah, obviously I know there's something that's being put out and I know there's something something behind it a little bit. I think Eddie's, I don't know, somebody snitched on Eddie. Eddie said something in confidence and it's got back to Billy. Um, you know, it's, it's one of them. You, you understand it. And I can see, of course, he should be back on Billy's. Billy's his fighter. Billy's signed to him. He's had Billy longer. But, you know, from Eddie and a business point of view, you've got to understand Eddie's just signed a five-year deal with his own and you've got to understand he's going to want Canelo to be the face of that, you know, that deal. And it's probably as hard in his mouth, no matter how good Billy Joe is, and even if Billy Joe wins this fight, Billy Joe to be the face of the zone, you've hard to be in your mouth every time he does an interview. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's around the bend, so... From Eddie's point of view, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not justifying it for him, but I, I, you can see where... He's coming from it, what he said, but rightly so. He's, you know, he should be back on Billy Joe. Like I say, if he's sitting ringside, he should be screaming for Billy Joe. And, you know, like I say, it's probably Hart wants Billy Joe to win and Red wants Canelo to win for the business sense. Yeah, that's, the, that's the sport we're in. You know, obviously, 
it's um, I'm not saying he's you know he's a snake or he's fucking he's, he's this, but you know it's full it's full of snakes and ladders. It's a business to people, and uh, we all know that. We all understand that. And it's just the brutal side of the sport. Is is it a shame in a sense that um, Billy's been able to have a full camp, which is great for Billy, but Callum didn't quite get that. And if Callum did, we would have seen a lot more Callum in a fight with Canelo. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, but, uh, like, uh, look, I've said for years, I've said, uh, again, I can't sit here and lie to you. No one gives a shit. No one cares about that. You know, mm. such wood. I'm sitting here talking to you now because I flew for the next three days. Mm. I'm fighting regardless. Now, you know, if, if I said to you after the fight, I was shy because I, I had flu all week or a box pad because. I was stuck in bed for three days. No one cares. You know, people turn the telly on to watch it and then paid six minutes. And, you know, people don't understand the, the, the 12 weeks before and, and people don't care. It's, again, it's the brutal business we're in. You, you, you can't make excuses. And, um, yeah, we would have loved to, I would have loved to have a full camp with Canelo without a cut, you know, but different butts and no one really cares. 